I'm making this video to tell you some things I've learned in 30 years. As you notice, I don't have a green screen behind me. I'm not screaming and yelling and waving my hands around. This is this. One of the things I, I've learned is that YouTube is full of a lot of fake people. People who pretend to be good people and are not. I'll tell you right now. I try to be a better person than I was yesterday. But I'm far from, uh, you know, the best person out there. Um, it's okay to make mistakes. Everybody makes them. And everybody will make them again. The important thing is to learn about it. It's not making the mistake that's the problem. It's making the same one twice. You will hurt people. It may not be on purpose. But just do what you can. And if they won't forgive you, move on. You did what you could. Being old isn't free. And it's not cheap either. One of the biggest expenses you'll ever have in your life is growing too old. But it doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. Old age is a blessing. It may not seem like it if you are old. But think about all the people you outlived who never got the opportunity to do the things that you got to do. And as for young people, especially the ones younger than me, and that are just starting to become adults now, you have knowledge to offer. But don't confuse that with knowing everything. If knowledge is this in its entirety, you're about here. You might The law might say you are an adult, but you are not an adult. You're just not. You could, never, you could not survive on your own. Uh, one of the things I learned is to stay at home as long as possible. Save your money. <clears throat> And divide your money. So get a job and don't do what I do sometimes, which is stupid and blow it all in dumb shit. No. Take your money and divide it into little things. And just put $25 here for your retirement each week. Put, you know, $10, $15 here each week for a rainy day fund in case you have a short check. You know? Maybe put the, some money into a bank account you use just to buy stocks with. So that way you're not playing with house money. You know. Divide your money up. It's a mistake I continue to make. And it's a mistake I don't want you to make. Um, another thing I learned is that Genius is not knowing everything. I am very intelligent. But in that, the genius is knowing how dumb you actually are. You see, I know a lot of things. But I also know that I don't know much at all in the grand scheme of everything. I don't. And I, if I don't know the answer to something, I look it up or I say I don't know the answer to something. If I say something that turns out to be incorrect and I'm corrected on it, I accept that. I was wrong. The other thing I'll tell you is take care of your teeth. Please. Let me show you something. That's what happens when you don't take care of your teeth. You lose them. Take care of them. It's in Having them pulled out and having the tooth decay and everything is some of the worst pain you'll ever feel. Don't make the mistake that I made. It's another thing. Sometimes people have disabilities that you can't see. 
When somebody says something or does something that doesn't make sense to you, don't treat them as if they're just bad people or weird people you don't want to talk to. They're probably sick. And they probably have a disability that you don't you aren't aware of. Another thing I've learned is to forgive people who are wholly unforgivable. Sometimes when we get hurt by someone, we want to hurt them back. But then they get hurt and they want to hurt us back and it gives them a reason to hurt us back. Forgiving somebody isn't for their benefit, it's for yours. It doesn't mean you pretend that they didn't do anything wrong. It just means that you don't hold it against them. It's okay to cut somebody out of your life entirely if they're just toxic people. But don't hold and harbor hatred against them. Because that hurts you more than it hurts them. Another thing I've learned. Just because somebody in your company is at a lower position than you does not mean that they are dumber than you are or that you know they don't work as hard as you do. As a janitor, I've learned that we are actually some of the hardest working people in that store and some of the smartest people in that store. But we're also the lowest ranking. We're also some of the nicest people in that store and we'll go out of our way to help people. Think of it this way. Sanitation workers are the backbone of society. They are without them, trash would start piling up and you would and you would all be responsible for cleaning it up yourselves. Which you wouldn't do because you don't feel like it. It would start piling up and become, you know, all over the place. The people that do that put their lives in danger, especially in times like these. So Give them the respect that they deserve. But with that comes my other thing I learned. All life deserves a basic level of respect. I don't care if it's an ant crawling across the sidewalk. It is life. It deserves some level of respect. All right? And another thing I learned, when it comes to politics and religion, people say you shouldn't talk about them because they're so divisive. But why should they be? Why should somebody else's views have any impact on your views? If somebody else is not a Christian, it is not up to you to make them one. They're not telling you that you're wrong. Your political or religious identity is not your identity. It isn't. You're so much more than that. You're more than Republican or Democrat or whatever your country's one is. You're more than Christian or Jewish or Muslim or Buddhist or Pastafarian. You're more than that. You're a whole person. And attacking one part of you does not attack every part of you. There's a lot of people out there that you think because they look a certain way or they act a certain way that they're bad people. And you're missing out on making good friendships. That person that, you know, belongs to a group you're, you're, you don't like... That person could be, you know, have the same, love the same sports teams you love, the same movies, the same comic books, and you'll never know that until you actually go and talk to them. Hatred, and especially xenophobia, comes from a lack of knowledge, a lack of education, and a lack of integration. Go get a, you know, get a job with uh, diverse co uh, co-workers. You have 
black people, white people, Asians, Hispanic people, Muslims, Jewish people, you get Eventually, you're going to be like, hey, this guy isn't too bad at all. Trust me, you will. Uh, I'm going to just end this now at like 10 minutes, but uh, I might do another video at some point.